My name is Stacy Cervenka and I live in Sacramento, California with my husband Greg and our three-year-old son Leo. My husband and I both happen to be blind and our son is sighted. I want to make this video today to talk to you about a campaign that I and thousands of other blind people feel is really, really harmful. And one thing that's really frustrating is that this campaign is being sponsored by the Foundation Fighting Blindness an organization that purports to help people with vision loss. Um, I want to begin by saying that neither my husband nor I, nor most of the people who oppose this campaign are against, um, you know, vision research or, and you know, many of us have actually even benefited from vision research. However, we are against this campaign for a number of reasons. First of all, the campaign um, asked sighted people to put on blindfolds and um, do various different challenges under, w under blindfold without any sight. Um, they, one of these challenges includes putting on a blindfold and trying to take care of your child for one minute without vision. Now, when most people do this, they feel like it's very frustrating, maybe even impossible. Um, and sometimes the results even appear to be comical. And another, um, video that the Foundation Fighting Blindness has put out recently is a video that shows kids playing at a park and um, slowly the screen goes dark. And the message at the end of the video says that vision loss robs parents of the opportunity to play with their children in the park and to take their children to the park. Um, and why these messages are so very harmful is especially to parents is that blind people still today face huge amounts of discrimination in employment housing um, even you, you know although it is against the law in most places to um, take away custody of children based solely on a parent's disability uh, blind parents are regularly questioned by social workers um, child protection agencies greg and i when we gave birth to leo uh, we, I woke up about, you know, 12 hours after giving birth to a team of 13 people, doctors, surrounding my hospital bed, um, who were interrogating me about how my husband and I would take care of our son. They made us meet with the social worker, who of course was able to recognize right away that Greg and I, um, you know, are very fit parents. Um, and so while it, there is legal protection for blind parents, blind parents still run into issues with social service agencies every day, which is why um, campaigns that imply that it is unsafe or impossible for blind parents to take care of their kids have real world devastating consequences. The fact is that vision loss, as you can see by my husband, who is totally blind, by the way. Hi, Leo. Hi, Greg. Hi. Okay. Okay. So, Vision loss, as you can see right here, does not prevent parents from taking their child to the park. However, negative misconceptions about blindness literally does prevent parents from having the experience that you see Greg and I having today. Um, you know, we also want to, to throw out there that you don't understand the experience of being a black person in the country and all the, the you know, social and economic and um, you know, just all the issues that people of color face by putting on blackface or dressing up as a Latino person for Halloween. Um, you don't understand what it's like to be homeless by camping outside for an evening. Putting on a blindfold and purporting that that's what it's like to be blind is completely offensive and takes and does not take into consideration um, the lived experiences that blind people have every single day. Um, Furthermore, you know, a lot of these, these videos are supposed to be funny. Like, hey, I put, you know, I put on a blindfold and now watch how terrible I am at doing all this stuff. So it basically makes it feel like you think our lives are funny, um, which, you know, honestly, often they kind of are. We do do a lot of hilarious things, but uh, I, I don't think that's the spirit that we're going for. Um, so really, one thing that I, I'd like to implore to all of you is that... I'm going to try turning this around. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully you can see me. Probably better if you can't. But um, as many of you know that, um, you know, the muscular dystrophy 
telethon was recently discontinued this year because people with disabilities found it offensive. Um, because people with disabilities were portrayed in a pitiful, sort of pathetic manner. Um, and even though we don't, we're not against the, the, the research that's being done by that organization, we were against those telethons. So finally those ended. So I'm really hoping that organizations like the Foundation Fighting Blindness will um, you know, take a cue from the Muscular Dystrophy Association and start actually listening to people with disabilities. Um, because trying to help us when we're telling you that something is offensive is really, really disrespectful and condescending. Um, you know, this might not be the best production video. I'm hoping you can actually see me, but uh, in any case, <laughs> um, we just are asking people to really think before you give money to this campaign and to perhaps give money, if you want to support vision loss uh, or, you know, vision research to possibly consider either a donation to the National Federation of the Blind, which helps people who are already blind or making a donation to your local hospital or eye clinic or, or some other organization. Um, in any case, I hope you're all doing well. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in comments. Thank you.